my Twa, hello my name is Vicky and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my morning and nighttime skincare routine. Now this video is hella long, I actually forgot to record the intro and I'm already done editing my video, but it is really freaking long. So I apologize. I just wanted to include as much information in this video as I could as possible, not only just about my skin, but what you can do for your skin. And I also go into depth about the products that I use and what they've done for my skin and what ingredients in those products and what they did for my skin, if that makes sense. Just a little fact, if you guys want to speed up the video, you can always go in this corner right here. There's a little settings button. If you click on the settings button, you'll see playback speed and you can speed this video up, up to I think two times faster, which will cut this video down to about 20 something minutes. Or if you'd like, I will be leaving timestamps down below on my morning skincare routine when that starts and then when my nighttime skincare routine starts. So you can either do that or you can just decide not to watch this long ass video, whichever you decide it's cool with me. So a little disclaimer before we get into the video, if you are super sensitive to profanity or if you are easily offended, this is not the place for you. I'm a no filter bitch and I have no idea what's gonna come out of my mouth, so keep that in mind while you're watching. So if you guys are interested in my winter skincare routine for morning and nighttime, then just stay tuned. So my skincare steps are pretty lengthy because I have really been into skincare lately. I just really want to bring my skin back. I wanna get rid of all these dark spots and for the most part my skin is actually very very smooth I do have like this big fucking grater on my face right here and I am breaking out a little bit here and I just need to get that glow so first thing I do is I wash my face with the botanics all bright with hibiscus cleansing foam wash. Now I love Botanics skincare products. I just like the fact that these are pretty affordable. You can find it at Target, you can find it at Ulta. It's not one of those washes that leave your face squeaky clean. You know when you're washing your dishes and you like take your finger and you kind of rub the dish and it makes that squeaky sound. That's not what I want for my face. It's what I want for my dishes, but not for my face. This doesn't strip any of the moisture. I don't feel like my skin is very dry or tight when I get out of the shower. Another thing that I really love about this is it doesn't leave any kind of residue either. So it's not drying, but it also doesn't leave like a weird film on your face. So after I use this to cleanse my face, I go in with the Botanics All Bright Purifying Face Scrub. Now these two are basically from the same line inside the brand. By that I mean, they are the all bright line. Botanics has like for dry skin, sensitive skin, oily skin, and this is to brighten your skin. And that's what I'm working on currently with my skin right now is to get rid of all these dark spots. I'm actually not even sure if some of these are freckles or if they're just dark spots, but they have gotten a lot lighter since recently, since uh, I've introduce something new into my skincare, but we'll get to that. Basically, I use these two in the morning because I use the scrub to get all the dead skin off of my face so it's ready for makeup application. That way I don't have as many like dry flakes on my skin. With the scrub, it's not super abrasive. There are little tiny flecks of walnut shells. And for me, I don't have really sensitive skin, so I like something that's a little gritty in my scrub or else I don't feel like it's really taking off the dry skin. If you do have really, really sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend this, but if you like a little bit of a crunchiness to your scrub, this is definitely something that is a really good product. Not only that, but I find like this doesn't dry my skin as well because I do use the scrub after the cleansing foam. Now the first step after cleansing and scrubbing my face is obviously toning. I like to use the Pixie Glow Tonic. This I actually only use during the daytime, during the nighttime, you'll see later on what I actually use to tone my face. This is a little bit more easy on my skin during the day as opposed to what I use at night. Because I'm always so dry, I don't wanna add more things that are drying to my skin. Glycolic acid can be something that may irritate your skin if you have sensitive skin or very, very dry skin. I have dry skin. It's not as bad as it was earlier on in the winter time. I got it a little bit better now because I'm using different moisturizer and it's working amazing. So all I'm gonna do is take one of these little cotton pads that I have here and we're just gonna go ahead and tune the skin. I like to actually go below my neck here on the sides of my, like where your sideburns would be and a little behind the ear and then I just bring it down 
my neck. Look at that, there's purple on here from my hair. As I'm letting that dry, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my next skincare product that I use. This is the Ula Henriksen Truth Serum. You're gonna be seeing a lot of this brand because Ula Henriksen is like my absolute favorite skincare brand that I found so far. It is a little bit more on the pricier end compared to like Botanics and some other things I'm gonna be showing you. But this, you guys, has just, oh, this has been an absolute skin saver. The only reason why I feel like my skin is glowy, and when I say glowy, I mean I mean, like you know when you hit the high points of your face you get that little glow from within not only has this brightened my skin but it has helped a lot of my pigmentation my dark spots and this thing is literally miracle on a bottle I only use this during the day because there's something else that I use during the night now for this this is basically vitamin C period and that is something that you want to put on your face during the day because normally during the night you put on retinols and you know, AHAs, BHAs. You don't want to put those things on during the daytime because you're in the sun. Now, if you know me, you know, put your goddamn sunscreen on because I am a sunscreen pusher. You have to wear your sunscreen or else your skin is going to look like this eventually because you didn't protect your skin from the sun. This just simply states that it is a collagen boosted with true C complex and that's where the vitamin C is. I love the smell of this stuff. It sucks because I'm really running on my last leg here. So it literally takes like this much and what I like to do is just rub it all on my fingers and just pat it into my face every single time after I use this I feel just so like refreshed energized awake I think it's also because of the smell the smell is just oh it's so citrusy it's almost like someone just squeezed an orange into this bottle so I really really like that but I just oh, I just love the way that this actually makes my skin feel and look it starts giving you that glow from within starting with this product another thing is that you can click it to lock it as well and this has lasted me about almost three months now I do use it every day but I only use it in the morning so it's lasted me quite a bit but I'm definitely gonna have to re-up on this because I don't know if you guys can see but I am literally Literally on my last leg here. This has been an absolute lifesaver for my skin, especially post Accutane. I think this is what jump started my whole like getting rid of the dark spots, the hyperpigmentation, all of that, the acne scars. This has really, really helped with my skin. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I was actually on Accutane in the winter of 2017. If you're thinking about going on Accutane, I would advise do it, but you need to take precautions. I have a whole video on that, which I will leave up here in the eye if you guys wanna check that out. But this has just transformed my skin completely. It all started with this. This is my first Ula Henriksen product that I ever bought, and it just made me love their brand more and more and want to try it out and everything I've tried from them so far has just been absolutely amazing. Next product I want to use, I want to use before I put on moisturizer and all the goopy stuff and that is the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub and this is in Salted Caramel. Absolutely love this stuff. Now of course it doesn't have to be the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub. This is just what I have because it's one of the things that my husband got me for Christmas along with the Alien Palette and so I was really excited because I absolutely love Salted Caramel. This shit not only smells good, it tastes good and it works. So I love using this on my lips to kind of prep before I'm gonna put makeup on because you know your girl really loves matte lipsticks and if you don't have a prepped lip it's gonna look like crap so I absolutely love using this as you can see I have barely dug into this this barely makes a dent because you only need a little bit it goes a long way and all I like to do is just take my finger kind of moisten my lips up a little bit I know sounds gross looks gross and then I just Rub my lips, scrub my lips. Now at the end, you can go ahead and wipe it off. I just kind of like to. It tastes good. It tastes like fucking sugar. It tastes like salted caramel. I absolutely love it. Before you go ahead and start the next step, you want to go ahead and make sure you don't have any of that lip scrub on your face. Because what I really hate is when you dig into moisturizer and you're sitting there, you know, moisturizing your skin, you feel like those little sugar things like in the moisturizer and it's just, it just doesn't feel good. I actually am one of those people who like to buy value sets first because I like to try my skincare before I commit to a full size product. Because I had acne for so long in my life, I was just one of those people who was really, really scared to actually use any products because I didn't want my face to break out or have any kind of weird reactions because that equaled more acne for me. I am also a very cheap person, as you guys may know. I am a penny pincher, so I like anything that has a really great deal. And 
and a lot of the Ula Henriksen products on their website, they sell them in value sets. So you get like a cleanser, a moisturizer, an eye cream, or like a tonic and an eye cream. And I just love their sets because their value of their sets are so high. I have been doing this thing where on Ula Henriksen, if you buy something worth $30, you get $15 off. So that means you're paying $15 for a $30 product. And not only that, but the value sets are valued at way more than $30. So one of the sets that I actually got is a moisturizing cream, the eye cream, and the truth serum. So this actually came in one value set and I paid, I wanna say $49 for this. And I was totally for it because the truth serum itself costs about 40 something dollars. So these two were basically free and that's why I hopped on it. And so that's why I have a lot of these laying around because I just absolutely love these. So I have been buying the truth line from Ula Henriksen. So let's go ahead and get into that product. Now this is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I cannot talk enough about this eye cream. The only eye cream that has been able to actually save my eyelids. So for the longest time, I thought that these were actually dark circles, but they're not. It's because I'm so fucking transparent like Casper that you can actually see the veins underneath my skin because I am just so pale. As you can see, I have like a lot of blue green veins going on in there. I tried a lot of eye creams trying to get rid of this. And then I realized I was like, bitch, it ain't going away. It's not getting less blue or dark under here. And then I realized it's not dark circles. It's literally just the color of my skin because of my veins underneath. I actually started focusing more on hydrating my eyelids rather than getting rid of my non-existent dark circles. And not only that, but I do have a little bit of sunken eyes right here. Most people get bags and poofy eyes. I get sunken eyes because I'm an insomniac. I maybe get three hours of sleep a night. So I just concentrated more on hydrating my eyelids. I don't know if anybody else out there is as dry as this crusty ass girl, but my eyelids will actually get flaky dry to the point where applying eyeshadow is just a no-go. I have been loving the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I'm actually almost out of this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Now, if you guys don't know, anytime you apply anything on your eyes, you want to use your ring finger because that is the finger that applies the least amount of pressure. And let me just say, you guys, your eye area is very precious. You don't want those wrinkles. You don't want those crow's feet go coming on, you know, here on the side. So you just basically want to lightly brush this on there, pat it in, but you don't wanna tug and pull because you don't want them damn wrinkles. You want to stay young and fresh for as long as you can. Even though I'm running out of this one and I have a backup, this is something that I am going to buy full size because this is the only eye cream that I just can't let go of. Right now I'm actually kind of going between the Mario Badescu chamomile eye cream. That stuff is just so, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's just not even a cream. It doesn't really absorb into my skin. It doesn't help with my dryness up here on my lids. So I have just always come back to the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright eye cream. I just, I can't get over this stuff. It's just so freaking good. If you haven't tried it, go to Sephora, get a sample. You will not be disappointed. I actually forgot to do this after I did my lip scrub, but I recently, I think I talked about this in my last shopping haul video, my first shopping haul of 2018. This is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Shea Butter Vegan Lip Balm with Sunflower Oil. What I like to do is I like to just squeeze a little bit, take my finger, and just rub it into these dry, crusty ass lips. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking like, this bitch does not do anything with her lips because my lips are always crusty as fuck in these videos. And it's mostly because I am really not thinking about my lips whenever I actually film. That's why every time you guys see me, I have really dry, crusty crap lips because I'm just not someone who does the whole lip process every single day that I'm filming because it's just sometimes it just leaves my mind. Now that I got that on we can move on to moisturizer. Next product again it is a Ula Henriksen product. This is the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. I cannot get over this stuff. This is the stuff that gives me the Ula Glow. If you guys don't know what the Ula Glow is then you don't know what Ula Henriksen is about. He is about flawless natural glowy from within skin and I I feel like his products actually give me that. My skin just looks so healthy and so glowy. And I think this creme right here, cream, whatever you wanna call it, this is a very gel-like consistency. Once you put it on your face, it just melts. Your skin just kind of drinks it up. Maybe it's because mine is always dehydrated and crusty. I don't know, but I just love this stuff. It doesn't 
feel like you have a film, a moisturizer on your face. It's not too thick, it's not too light. This actually goes a long way as well. So I like to put two dollops on my cheeks, one on my forehead and a small amount on here. And I am just going to go ahead and rub that in. Oh, and I love the truth line of Ulla Henriksen because all their stuff smells very citrusy. So it's very uh, orangey, limey type of smell. And I just love that because that just means that there's more vitamin C in these products. I just can't talk enough about Ulla Henriksen. No, this video is not sponsored. I freaking wish it was. And at the end, what I like to do is I like to take a little dollop like this and I'm gonna go ahead and place it on my hand. Just gonna do the fingertips here and gonna do my entire neck. Now, whenever you're applying moisturizer or anything on your decollete, on your neck area, you always want to move up. That way you're not getting that turkey neck when you're older. I do have a bit of a double chin, but that has nothing to do with my makeup products. That's more like I need to quit fucking being a fat ass bitch and stop eating at like 11 o'clock at night. You can go ahead and touch your face and you will just feel how, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like in your skin, but when you touch your skin, you're not feeling any extra moisturizer on your fingers. You're not feeling it like gooping around and moving around and all that. My skin has already absorbed this stuff. I actually, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, but I actually have three of these small sizes. Again, these came in value sets and uh, I don't think I'm gonna be running out anytime soon. I just love and swear by the eye cream, the moisturizer and the truth serum. These three together have literally transform my skin I just love my skin so much these days except for all these like little tiny things that I get like during that time of the month but other than that I just love the Ulla Henriksen truth skincare line the last step of course is what say it out loud with me fucking sunscreen you need to put on sunscreen before you go outside i don't care if it's fucking cloudy i don't care if it's raining i don't care if you don't see sun there are still uv rays penetrating through them clouds and they're gonna get into your skin and they're just gonna mess it all up and those dark spots those little acnes that you have here as long as uv rays are hitting things like this it's going to become a dark spot or a hyperpigmented spot you don't want that i mean take my skin for example as you see all these little dots are from the freaking sun why because your girl didn't use sunscreen when she was a lot younger so if you guys that are watching are like in your early 20s start wearing sunscreen every fucking day i'm telling you right now because it will change your skin and you won't get all these weird dark discolorated spots. I don't know if anybody has told you this, but any type of sunscreen, especially for your face, has to be at least 30 SPF for it to have any kind of protection over your skin. So if it's SPF 20, SPF 15, it's not gonna do anything. Any of the SPF that is written on foundation or powder, it doesn't matter if it's not SPF 30 or higher. It may have like a slight barrier from the UV rays, but it's nothing like what a SPF 30 or a SPF 50 is going to give you. This is the Alba Botanica Facial Sunscreen. This is fragrance free and that's why I like it. You're just gonna apply it just like you apply anything else. Of course, you wanna hit the under eyes. You wanna hit the sides of your nose. You literally just wanna hit your entire face with sunscreen because girl, you do not need them sun rays on your face. Please do not forget sunscreen. Also, I forgot to mention uh, when you put sunscreen on, you wanna bring it down all the way to your neck. Also, always get your eyelids underneath your eyes, your nose, everything. Anything that is showing, you need sunscreen. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put some sunscreen on the back of my hands because whenever you're driving and the sun hits the back of your hands, do you want wrinkly, witchy fingers when you're like the age of 50? No, so you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put that sunscreen on the back of your hands you're gonna put them on your arms so that is all that I have for my daytime skincare routine so I'm gonna go ahead and actually film another video and once it is evening time I will be back here to show you guys what I do for my makeup removal process and my nighttime skincare routine so I went ahead and filmed the video which is why I have a full face of makeup on now I am not one of those bitches who's gonna sit here with a bucket of water and wash my face like that's just too big of a pain in my ass and it makes such a huge mess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I remove my makeup and then I'm actually gonna jump in the shower because I am one of those people who actually shower at night. I think it's really disgusting when people get in their bed after a long day of working and sweating and they just change their clothes 
and then hop into bed. To me, that's just, that's just a no-go. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this makeup and then I'm gonna jump in the shower and I'm gonna show you guys, like I did in the morning skincare routine, what I use to cleanse my face and all that. And then you guys will see me apply the moisturizer, toner, all that good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and take these little lashes off. Yes, I am one of those girls that just rips her lashes off. If you are using like a heavy duty glue, I would advise you take a Q-tip and kind of loosen the lashes before you go ahead and pull them off. If you watch my previous videos on like my favorites or my unboxings from home, you will know that this is one of my favorite makeup removing products. That is the Biore Makeup Remover. This is a cleansing liquid and I love this stuff. It's basically a cleansing oil. This will literally take off anything that is on your face. I don't care if it's waterproof mascara, waterproof eyeliner or whatever, it doesn't matter. This thing is gonna get it off. But the one thing I do have to state is if you have sensitive ass eyeballs, you shouldn't be using this because it sucks. I am someone who is not very sensitive sensitive to anything. I will put whatever in my eyeballs and it won't really bother me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of pumps of this on my hands. And by a couple, I mean a thousand. And I'm just going to kind of spread it all over my hands and rub it on the face. And look at that, it just melts off your face. I love this stuff so much because it will get anything off. Now again, if you're sensitive to stuff in your eyeballs, do not be using this like this because it probably won't feel very good for you. I cleanse my face with this to take off all of my foundation, my base makeup. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower, wash this off, and I will share with you guys the cleanser and the whole process that I use, and then we'll go on with everything else. So I will be right back. Alrighty, your girl is squeaky clean and ready for some face products. Now, while I was in the shower, I used the Botanics All Bright cleansing foam like I usually do. This basically gets rid of all the residual makeup, any dirt, any excess oil that you have on your face. Then after that, I like to go in with another exfoliant, except this is different from the face scrub from Botanics. This is actually the Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. I honestly now cannot live without this. This thing has been a complete game changer for my face. This, including the toner that I will talk about here shortly, has just transformed my skin completely. As you can tell, this is also a small container because again, I don't like buying full-size products unless I know for a fact that I'm going to enjoy said product. This I actually got, I believe, from Nordstrom Rack for like $8. And I have to say, this is well worth $8. I have actually been using this for, I wanna say almost three months, and I'm still right here on the bottle. This is one of those things that a little goes a really long way. You literally need smaller than a dime size. It's like half a dime size, so maybe like a pea size on your hand. And as soon as you rub your hands together, it just foams. And what this does, is it's an exfoliant. So you have these type of exfoliants that have little particles inside that you can feel when you're scrubbing your face and then you have this one. So I'm gonna read a little bit about this so you guys can understand what exactly a glycolic cleanser is. This exfoliates dead skin buildup. This soothes your freshly exfoliated skin and it provides antioxidant protection by neutralizing free radicals that can cause damage to the skin. One thing I like about this is because it is one of those exfoliants that you can't really feel it doing anything except for when you have like maybe you've just extracted like a white head or a zit or something like that you will feel it kind of tingle but that's about it it's not going to burn your skin or anything like that if you do have sensitive skin I can't really say because again I don't I have like fucking golem skin but I do have to say that if you are super sensitive to certain things, you may wanna get a small bottle like this to try it out first. Also, do not, I repeat, do not get this shit in your eyes because you will scream, you will cry, it stings so bad. Even for me with the whole oil cleanser thing, I'm telling you, that shit is pretty harsh. Also because it's oil, it just kinda swishes around in your eyes. But once you get it, this in there, it's like alcohol in your eyes. So be careful when you use this. This next product, again, it is a value set size, so it is very small. This is the Ula Henriksen Glow 2OH Dark Spot Toner. I honestly don't know. It says glow, it has a little 2 and then OH, so I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that, but I'm just going to call it the Dark Spot Toner. This has changed this bitch's skin. Like, my skin has never been so glowy, so 
bright. This thing has literally gotten rid of some of my hyperpigmentation just a week, actually not even a week, maybe four days into using this toner. I actually saw my skin become brighter and smoother. Not only that, but a lot of my hyperpigmentation slash acne scarring slash dark spots have lightened like 10 times more than what they used to be. So my skin actually feels super smooth. Honestly, it's this toner because everything else that I've tried has not changed my skin this drastically until I started using this toner. These two are like a holy grail mixed together because it has just transformed my skin completely 180. I don't even know how to explain it. I used to have like really small bumps inside my skin. I had like these dots where you could just run your fingers around like my jawline and you would feel little teeny tiny dots, but you could never extract them. Even you could, you could sit there and squeeze all you want, but they're not going to come out. And this has gotten rid of all of that. I have really smooth jawline now. I'm going to go ahead and take a cotton pad here and I am just going to tone the face. Again, same thing with toning. You always want to lift the skin up, never down. I like to take it up the sideburns, behind the ears, down the neck, and of course, all the way down the decollete because your girl don't want a saggy turkey neck when she's 40, 50. You know what I'm saying? I mean, once I'm like 60 or 70, I don't think I'll really mind it, but I don't want to be like in my 40s with, you know, with this stuff. So after I tone my face, I usually go in with the lip scrub because I don't want to put moisturizer and have that all over my face. And then, you know, you can taste it like the moisturizer on your lips. Normally I scrub my lips with this, but because my lip is really, really busted and it hurts. So I'm just gonna go in with the Shea Moisture Lip Balm once again and apply on these lips. This is actually best applied before bed because that way you can actually notice the difference. Now that my face has kind of absorbed the toner, I am gonna go in with my vitamin C. Of course, during the day, I use the Ula Henriksen Truth Serum. Now at night, I use the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum. I know earlier in the video, I said that I use a vitamin C during the day and I use a retinol during the night. Right now, the only retinol that I have is prescribed and it is I believe 0.5% and for me right now with how dry my skin is it is just not the ideal thing to be applying all over my face or even on my you know hyperpigmented slash dark spots because it's just too drying. When this thing was a live volcano slash crater on my face I would normally put on all my face products and then at the very end I would take literally like a bloop smidge of the retinol and just pat it on here and leave it on overnight and it basically just sucks all whatever is inside dries it up and by the next day you have something like this which is basically like a scab i'm trying not to pick at it i already picked at it once which was a bad idea because when you pick at stuff like this this is what you end up with you end up with dark spots and all that good stuff that's why you should never pick at your pimples or your zits. You should never be extracting anything on your own with a lot of pressure because what it does is it breaks down all your skin around it, which causes it to get inflamed and red. And also you might notice the next day that it looks like it's chafed, chaffed, chafed, and it looks like you're missing like the top layer of your skin. And when you put stuff like toner on, it's gonna burn. That's why whenever you get live pimples, you just wanna leave it unless it has a white head and you can just easily apply a little bit of pressure. You don't wanna squeeze too much. Once your pimple starts bleeding, that's it, it's done. There's nothing else that's gonna come out. So don't force anything that isn't gonna come. You know what I'm saying? That is one of my tips for you. So anyways, let's go back to the Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum. I do have to say I do choose the Truth Serum over the Mario Badescu, but this has definitely helped bring back the glow in my skin. For this, what I like to do is I like to do one droppy on the forehead, and I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that lightly because then I'm gonna do something else here. I'm gonna put one drop on this cheek, one drop here, and I'm just going to lightly rub this in. You will notice that your skin kind of just like absorbs this. This isn't an oil. It is very much a serum. At the end, I like to put a couple of drops on my fingertips here and do this. And I like to go and pat this all over the face. I most definitely bring it down 
to the decollete. Again, why? Because we don't want a turkey neck when we're aging, you know, 40, 50, because 40 is a little too young to be having, you know, a bit of a saggy neck. Just pat it all in nicely. Oh, this does say every other night. I apply it every night because I want that glow. Bitch want to be shiny. Bitch want to be glowing from within. Whenever you're using vitamin C, you got to wear sunscreen. Same thing with retinol. If you are wearing retinol at all, it doesn't matter if you put it on during the night, during the day, you need to be wearing sunscreen. I don't know how much I can stress that enough. Bitch be wearing sunscreen. I am now going to apply the eye cream. Now, of course, the eye cream is the same. It is the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. And I'm just gonna take that on my middle finger. Ooh, put way too much on that eye. And then we're just gonna tap it into the skin. This is definitely one of the best bases that I've had for applying makeup. Like before when I had like my crusty eyelids, before I found this product, it was crazy how much I could notice the difference because I would apply this first and then I would apply like, you know, concealer or whatever for my makeup base and I didn't have any dry patches beneath and I was just so shocked at that. Like I literally could not believe how the makeup was sitting on my eye area and how the concealer was sitting on my skin. It just looked so freaking good and I just loved it. And that is why I have not been able to put this down. This is actually, I believe my third or my, my second or third. It's either my second or third one and I still have one more left. I'm just gonna be using this continuously unless I find like a different eye cream that's like a lot better, which I doubt it because this is basically perfect for my skin. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now I am gonna go in with with the same moisturizer that I used in the morning time. This is the Ula Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Creme. This stuff is just amazing. I love it for the night, the day. I use it every single day. I cannot live without this stuff. This stuff is just a total game changer and lifesaver for my skin. Just lightly spreading fingertips, spirit fingers. You want to do this with Spirit fingers, nice, gentle, light fingers. You don't wanna be pulling on your skin. At night is when I actually massage my face. I know a lot of people may think that's weird, but the more you massage your face, the more the swelling in your face goes down. If you have any puffiness or anything like that. If you guys don't have time, make the time to massage your skin, to have a skin routine because your skin needs it. I mean, like I said, you only get one skin, you know, you need to take care of it. So now I like to take some on my hands here. And we are just gonna hit the neck. It's mostly at night that I apply creams to the decollete because during the day, I don't really like how it feels. Like it gets like slimy. And then sometimes if it's too hot, you're sweating throughout the day and you can kind of feel it. And I just don't really like bringing things down all the way during the daytime. But during the nighttime, you have to make time for that. Like I can't stress that enough. You want to take care of this area as well because this is where you first age. Like that is the noticeable signs of aging aside from like your crow's feet or your smile lines. This is the other place that gives away your age, basically your neck and your decollete. So you wanna take care of those things. Last step for my skincare is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rosehip Oil. I actually alternate between this and the 100% Squalane Oil, and that is also from the Ordinary. I actually use that only maybe once a week or when I need extra hydration because 100% Squalane is, I don't know what it is, but it's just so amazing for hydrating your skin. The Rosehip Oil will moisturize your skin, but not as much as the squalane because squalane is something that your body actually naturally produces, but us as humans don't produce it as much as we should or as much as we need. So if you're someone who is on the very, very dry end, you wanna try the 100% squalane oil. Now let's get back to this oil. Now this I like to apply, now that I've been sitting here talking, I feel like my moisturizer has definitely sunk into my skin. So I'm gonna take this and this just says that it is a daily support formula for all skin types. So again, if if you are dry, you can use this, but I'm just saying, if you're very, very dry, you wanna try the squalane oil. The one thing about oils are that you wanna use it as the last step of your skincare routine. You don't wanna be putting oils in the beginning or in the middle because once you put oils, that seals your skin. So anything you put on top of that is not going to absorb into your skin. Basically, oil is like a barrier. So that's why it's good to put on after all your facial products because once you put on the toner, the serum, the moisturizer, all that, the oil basically seals that shit in. So 
while you're sleeping, all the stuff that's on your face can do its magic and the oil will help protect that from anything else getting in there. That's why you want to use oils at the last step of your skincare routine or after water-based products. For the rosehip oil, I actually like to take one drop on the forehead and one drop, oop, one drop on each cheek here. I always like to spread my oils first and then I like to go ahead and press it into the skin. You want to press into the skin rather than just moving it around because when you're doing this, you're just moving the oil around. You're not getting any into your skin. This is actually where I like to massage my skin after I have pressed all the oils into every part of my face. Normally with the rosehip oil, I actually like to apply it right before I go to bed. Okay, maybe not right before, but like I'm one of those people who will, you know, apply my oil, brush my teeth, and then sit down and watch like maybe a show before I go to bed. I don't like to put it on and then go to bed because then you're gonna feel oily all over your pillow. You wanna give the oil time to absorb into your skin because this rosehip oil actually does absorb into the skin. I was using the Tarte Maracuja oil and that, oh my God, you guys, that shit just like stayed on top of my face all night and I would wake up with the pillowcase stuck to the side of my face and it was just really gross. I felt icky. This actually helps with a lot of acne scarring. I honestly have not noticed it do too much for my hyperpigmentation, but for my acne scarring, I have definitely noticed a huge difference in the dimples that I used to have. I actually call them acne dimples because they look like small little dimples all over your face and it's mostly from acne. So my battery is really close to dying so just a few more things before we close out the video I just want to share a few tips now one thing is know your skin know what kind of skin you are if you're normal combo oily dry whatever you need to know your skin in order to choose the right skincare products for your skin second if you're one of those people who take a shower and wash your hair while you're in the shower you always want to wash your hair first and your face second why because while you're shampooing and conditioning all that dirt and grime off of your hair where does it fall? Right onto your face. And so that's why you wanna save washing your face until after or maybe even the end. I don't prefer the end like before you're getting out of the shower necessarily because then you're getting all that stuff over your on your body. So what I like to do is wash my hair, then wash my face, then wash my body after my hair is put up. But also because I'm Asian in the way I do most things, I'm one of those people who actually, I know it's gonna sound really weird, but I actually squat on the side of the tub and put my hair over my face and then wash my hair separately from taking a shower. I know it's weird, but it's just what I do because back home, in Japan, we don't really have the shower in the tub thing. It's a tub and then a shower right next to it. I know I made a comment earlier how I said it's really gross to me when people, after a long day of work, they just change their clothes and get into bed. I realized that that was a little insensitive of me to say that because I do know that there are people out there who work long hours, who work multiple jobs, multiple shifts, and I understand that there are times that you need to just go to bed. I get that, but do, not for the love of the makeup gods. Do not sleep in your fucking makeup. Always take your makeup off. I don't care if you're dead fucking tired. Use a makeup wipe. It doesn't matter. Take that shit off because that is literally the nastiest thing for your skin. You're gonna clog your pores. You're gonna start breaking out. It's just not pretty and it's not great for your skin. So if you are someone who does not have time to do all those things, then at least, at least take your shit off your face because you do not wanna be sleeping in that nastiness. Another tip is change your pillowcase at least once a week. So my battery keeps dying. So basically change your pillowcase at least once a week. If you can try and do that to save your skin. That is all for my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope maybe you guys found some new products that you might want to try, especially if you have the same type of skin that I do. And these products have just really helped change my skin and better my skin. So I'm very thankful to these products. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you actually know when I post my videos. And as always, Always, if you have any tips, tricks, questions, comments, or if you simply want to talk shit, leave it all in the comment section below, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!